Okay, here's the complete uh, BFO. It's uh, finished and working. I changed the design a little bit from the schematic. I rewound the coil on a, an FT50 Mix 61 toroid, and the total number of turns were. 42 tapped at 10 for feedback by trial and error i found that the ca capacitance required was about 120 picofarad and i also added a trimmer capacitor there to bring the frequency within the 455 kilohertz plus or minus range the FET there is an MPF-102, the ubiquitous F, uh, MPF-102, uh, any other uh, similar uh, FET would do the job. I just happened to have this one in stock. I was going to use a 2N3819 because I had plenty of those, but uh, I had a few of the MPF-102, so I used them, or I used this one instead. The control board is on the left. It has a dual purpose. There is a voltage regulator uh, here, the LM317, and I have the voltage set at about seven volts, I think. It, it's there or thereabouts. And the input at the moment is 12 volts, so the, uh, the control voltage there, or the voltage for the BFO is 12 volts. Uh, I also, have four very cap diodes here and uh, I use that for uh, adding uh, capacitance there just for to swing the BFO over a reasonable uh, couple of kilohertz and by trial and error I found out I needed four of them uh, and I use the potentiometer here to vary the swing of the uh, BFO. So at the moment it's sitting on 457.2 uh, kilohertz 
which is the high end of the, the range. Pardon the shaking now of the uh, camera as I uh, film this, but that's the high end of the range. Uh, so it's a 455 we're looking for, but I'm swinging either side of it. So there's the high end. And now... It goes down there to 451. So it's a range of about... What, 6 kc? So 3, three kc is either side of the... Uh, 455 kilohertz frequency. Now I have here a, uh, a receiver which actually tunes to 455 kilohertz so we can listen to the signal as we pass over it. So I'm at the high side there so I'm going down And it's fairly stable, the oscillator. A nice tone there. This uh, BFO is going to be used for an old AM shortwave receiver. Uh, it doesn't have uh, BFO, so it can't resolve SSB or CW. So down to the low end again, 451, and up again to. Four, five, seven. What I'm using here to couple the output signal is just a piece of wire uh, and it's in close proximity to the antenna of the uh, of the uh, receiver. So uh, that's how I couple it. It's not directly injected into the receiver. It's just uh, uh, using the yellow wire you see here as, a, as an output and uh, just uh, coupling the the signal there into the antenna. My antenna at the moment is just a piece, the red wire there is uh, an antenna, a uh, very short, just piece of wire there. So that's the uh, BFO working. Oh, had slipped down there at <laughs> the board. So uh, in the next uh, the next little section, I'm going to show you the output of the BFO on the oscilloscope. So there's a nice clean signal at the output of the BFO. Nice sine wave. I measured, uh, I calibrated the, uh, the screen there and it's about 3 volts peak to peak uh, of, a, of a signal there. So uh, I'm going to vary the uh, the BFO now by uh, tuning a couple of uh, KCs, and you'll see the you can see the way the uh, the sine wave there changes as well. So I'm very happy with that, and I'm going to box the unit now and. Uh, present it to Echo India to Echo Mike, uh, Charlie, who asked me if I would uh, do this project for him. So there we go. Very, very happy with the results. A few modifications to the circuit, but all is working fine now and ready to be used on the uh, AM receiver when boxed. So the next uh, clip or the next few clips I'll show is the, uh, the printed circuit boards in the box. Okay, both printed circuit boards now mounted in the box and uh, ready for a final test before closing the lid. It was a very tight fit to get everything into the uh, small box, but I just about managed to do it. And now I have my receiver tuned up here for 455 kilohertz. And I also have the frequency counter running. So as I tune across the uh, range there, you will hear the signal on the receiver. So here goes. We'll go from low to high.
So four five uh, seven, nearly four five eight. Yeah, there's four five eight. Down as far as uh, four five one and a bit, or four five two. So quite adequate range there to uh, resolve signals on the AM receiver uh, with the BFO. So that's it. Ready to put the lid on and. Uh, Another successful project completed and working. Thank you.